Next tool, nice to have, not essential, um, is a knife. It's good for sharpening pencils and just a good tool to have all around. It's um, what kind you buy is totally up to you. You can go with an Olfa, this one's a Stanley, um, possibilities are endless, a knife's a knife, and uh, this is just a nice one to have. Um, but there's actually quite a few uses, and I'm surprised how often I do use this on the, the job for tiling. You wouldn't think you need it, but it works well. And a pencil, for obvious reasons, marking your tile, marking out your lines, always have one. I just keep one on me at all times. You can use, this is like a carpenter's pencil. This is the kind I use. I just find it's a whole lot easier to keep on me because if you set your pencil down, chances are it's not going to be where you need it the next time. So that's why I have these small ones to stick it up in my ear and it works well. If you want to, if you have a pile of tiles that you know you're going to constantly, you can use one of these because they don't um, dull as fast. As, with these, I'm sharpening a whole lot more. This one, because the lead is a lot thicker, it doesn't dull as fast, which can be nice, especially if you're working on concrete or doing a lot of marking on tiles. So there's uh, good and bad to both. That's your pencil, and your here's your sorry, I got some chalk on it. Some six in one tool. This one um, is actually a painter's tool, and an, an essential tool in my mind when it comes to tiling. Actually, any kind of construction I do, I use this tool. It is. I've had this for quite a while, and it it's. Test, gone through the test of time. It's made by Richard. They make some great tools. And uh, this particular one is is my personal favorite, one of their best. It is, they call it a 6-in-1 tool, I more call it a 101 one tool. It has so many uses, you can't even, um, can't even imagine what you can do without it, what you used to do without it when you didn't have it. It's like 6 to 8 bucks, something like that. Um, works great. It has a um, an edge here so that you can scrape. Um, it's got a, a flat spot here so you can you can crank it underneath the tile and pop it up this way or this way. Um, this part here is actually for when you're after you finish painting you scrape off the roller but it is a fantastic tool. This end here when you buy them new uh, right here it actually comes out in a point and if you really need to get in dig something out like say your tile space is stuck in your mortar then you can just use this and pop it out and it just pops right out of the, uh, out of the mortar. Um, you can use other things as well, but this tool you just you pretty much leave with you at all times. Like your pencil, I just always have this in my pocket. I always wear uh, khaki pants due to the fact I have so many pockets and I like to have things that I usually have a tape measure in one and a six in one tool in the other, and that's kind of my essential rule. Uh, sometimes I have to move my pencil into the pocket when I use, which is the next thing, our safety equipment. So when you have your safety equipment on, then your pencil gets in the way. So what I do is just take my pencil, put it in one of my many pockets. I'm just a pocket guy, but you, you choose how you want. Uh, put safety glasses on, and then earmuffs, and you're ready. You're good and safe. When you're using any of your cutting tools, um, not your breaker so much, it's not really that dangerous, but when using any of your, your high-speed cutting tools, whether it be your wet tile saw or your angle grinder, um, then you really must wear these. Uh, just, you have to wear them. It's too dangerous. You only have one set of eyes and that's after that, that's it. So just be really careful. And your hearing too, believe it or not, it can do a lot of damage. I have actually uh, ruined my ears just a little bit due to um, kind of ignoring this rule. And uh, I regret it, um, but I want you to learn from this mistake. So just remember to do to uh, wear those. I also have my knee pads on. I'm just wearing them right now to save my knees on this tile. Um, another essential. Don't do anything without it. Um, just cheap knee pads work great. I've actually bought the higher end and found that they were cumbersome. They were too big, too bulky. You know, they look great on commercials or on advertisements, but I personally didn't like them that much. Just a simple foam. Um, the ones I have on, I believe, are just like um, gardeners. And, but they, they were great, they lasted the test of time.